welcome back to my channel. So it is time for a yard sale haul and this is a Memorial Day weekend one. So I feel like good stuff. Um, the first thing I bought, I don't actually have here to show you guys. It's already put away. It was a carpet shampooer. That was something on my list um, because mine broke and I did repair it for a little bit, but it just kept leaking. So I picked up a new one of those for $10. It works, but I do know why they got rid of it because it is like the sound of a rocket taking off, like seriously. Next time I use it, I'm gonna have to close whatever room I'm working in and wear like earmuffs because my ears hurt by the time I was done. But it works and that was the most important part. So I did pick up one of those. I also managed to cross two things off my wish list, and I'll just show you those right from the start. Um, so I know like all of us major yard sellers, you kind of make up a list before the season starts of things you'd be excited to find or things you're looking for. So the first thing I was looking for, I wanted to find old bingo numbers. The little wooden ones that have like the red paint on them. I have a plan, I wanted to use them in one of my little mason jars you can see up there as kind of like a 4th of July, like patriotic thing. So that was one of my lists. And I found this at the first yard sale I went to. It's 50 cents, it's an old bingo game. And I thought that it was kind of cool because it was made in Rochester, New York. And I bought these all on vacation about an hour away from Rochester. So it was kind of like from the area, so it was neat. Um, let me just open this up. So inside, I've got a box of numbers. I don't think they're all here because it just doesn't seem like there's a ton, but I can still use them in a mason jar. So I've got them. I've got a ton of awesome vintage bingo cards. So these have kind of like that yellowed over time look, and there's a huge stack of them. I have the original calling card, which I don't know, maybe I could frame this and use it for something like Memorial Day July 4th type time, because it is red and white. And then I got this in there, which isn't even part of it. It's a uh, typewriter ribbon, but I thought that was really cool. I know that these are like a collectible thing. Some people collect the tins for like the different print and stuff. Um, oh, that's where they stored the markers. So now I just spilled them on the floor. Okay, so they stored the markers in there, but I thought that was cute. And I'll definitely be able to use these for something. So 50 cents and I checked that item off my list. Now the next item that was on my list was really specific and kind of weird, um, but I saw it on Kieran's channel. She's Thrifted Living. Um, she did a haul and she found these. And then as soon as I saw them, I was like, all right, I need that too because it's great for the summer. And it's these paper plate holders. So I know these are kind of like retro, but I thought they would be neat. I've been working on like a little dining area off of our back porch where we could have like barbecue and things. So they're just these little wicker things. You hold the paper plate in them and I paid 25 cents each. So I think $1.75, yep, $1.75 worth. I also found a plant mister and this guy was only $2 for a brass one, which I thought was a really great deal. Now it does uh, spray really hard if you were actually gonna use it. You could probably oil it but I'm not, it's more of a decorative piece for me. So I got that. And I found a small planer just to keep down in my tool stash, which I think might come in handy sometime, 50 cents for that guy. I picked up four carpentry books. Now I don't know if I'm actually gonna read these. I got them because I liked the way they looked. They have the black with the yellow and then the front of them also is really pretty. So I thought these would be neat in some kind of a stack. I mean, maybe even Halloween time because they're black, but I mean, any other time, so. And those were 50 cents a piece. So I thought that was really cool. Now, something I picked up that wasn't on my list and normally would be like a boring item, but will come in handy, is this grocery bag dispenser. So right now I just have them in like one of those mesh shoe holder type things on the back of my basement door, which is working, but they get all like uh, jumbled up and more fall out at once. So I thought this would be cool to give it a shot. It's 25 cents. So if it doesn't work, I'm, you know, 25 cents is all it costs me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. 
also picked up two small flower pots and these are white and green and when I bought these at the yard sale the lady told me that they were from her daughter's wedding she had used these as like little centerpieces so these were two of them that were left I'm trying to save all the clothing items for last and I'm just about down to that but I have a few last items I picked up a book light um, I don't know what it is with me, but I seem to break book lights regularly. So all the ones that I have, this part always ends up getting broken off. So you can't put it in the book anymore. So you're kind of trying to like balance it on your shoulder or something. So for 25 cents, I picked myself up a new one. All right. Oh, I forgot about this, you guys. This is so exciting. I found one of these big fabric shavers. So I had a small one because um, I like to use it on my couch, like, I don't know, maybe once a year or so, just to kind of get some of the pills off. And I found a large one. So this is perfect. And 50 cents. Now, if you don't have one of those, you can use a razor because I've used just like a regular shaving razor before. Um, okay. But that makes it a lot easier. I also picked up two white platters, just little ones to add to my stacks. And this is more of that Syracuse China that I showed in my last haul. So 50 cents a piece on these guys. And I like things like this because I use them as decoration, but they're also functional. So if I ever had a party, like when I did my Christmas cookie party, I was able to pull things from my hutch and actually use them. So... And then now I'm down to like clothing items. So the first, I mean, it's not in clothing, but it's, it's not a home decor is this uh, briefcase and it's by Samsonite, just plain black leather. But I have a computer bag right now that has seen better days because I carry my um, tablet back and forth to work, which would be fine if it was just my tablet. But then I stuff in all my notebooks and my colored pencils and things for like my design stuff. So if I get like a spare moment, I kind of like to work on things. And all that weight gets heavy and my straps always break. So this one is kind of like heavy duty and I think it's gonna last a really long time. And the inside has a ton of great pockets. So you can put like all kinds of things in here. And I actually just saw something in here. Oh, okay. It's uh. I guess you can get some kind of a engraved plate to put on it if you wanted your name on it. That doesn't matter. Anyways, I paid $3 for that, so I thought it was a really good deal. And now on to the clothing items. So I picked up this white t-shirt from Ann Taylor Loft. And all these clothing items, they came from the same yard sale. I could have stayed there like an hour and bought everything these people owned. They had really great taste in clothing, but I was trying to be good and just pick a few pieces. So I picked up just this plain white t-shirt, which is wrinkly from being in the bag, but white t-shirts are hard to find for me anyways, um, cause they get dirty easy. So secondhand, it's not always the easiest find. I also picked up this Jessica Simpson sweater and it's kind of like navy blue with eggplant mixed in. So I'm gonna put this away till the fall, but it'll be perfect. And the reason I liked this is because it's long, so it's like a legging length. So, I mean, I could do it with leggings, but I find that long ones like this also look really cool with pencil skirts. So the sweater was, I think, $2. The t-shirt was a buck. And then this last item I'm going to show you guys, I got super excited for. It's a uh, Massimo. It's kind of like a poncho. So it's this red and black buffalo plaid, which I love so much. So it doesn't have a true sleeve. It's more like a poncho. And then it's got like an attachment to kind of put your arm through. But this was like, I think $2. I didn't keep track pretty much of all the prices. It ended up being $22 overall. And that was with the $10 carpet shampooer. So yeah. But I'm so excited for this. Even if I try this on and it doesn't look wonderful for like public wear, I'm going to rock this thing around the house like all fall long. So really excited for the Buffalo plaid. So that was all my yard sale finds. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them and I hope you guys did some good yard selling too. 
and I'll see you in the next video.